Mark. to IPW Wrestling, wrestling the way it should be. I'm your host, Buddy Lee. Now let's go to the ring. In this match, Bulldozer against Michael Lee. Joining me now, the IPW color analyst, Shane Kelly. Shane, how you doing? As always, Buddy, a pleasure to be here. Some very capable wrestlers in this match. Bulldozer, a big wrestler, and Michael Lee, a great athlete. Bulldozer is a big, mean wrestler. Michael Lee uh, watching Bulldozer and both of them circling in the ring. It's a good idea to watch Bulldozer at all times. This man is uh, very unpredictable sometimes. Lock up. Bulldozer pushing Michael Lee up against the ropes. And pressure on the chin. Audience seems to be liking you pretty well so far. Yes, they are, buddy. And uh, Bulldozer talking to the referee a little bit there. Bulldozer, uh, just to look at that man will, will, will scare me. Yes, it will. Bulldozer's a big, bad, impressive man. Lock up and Bulldozer pushing uh, Michael Lee into the turnbuckles. Referee calling for the break. And a uh, whip into the turnbuckle and uh, Michael Lee moving. Bulldozer forcing himself into the turnbuckle at that time. And that hurt. This match, of course, uh, is from the past. It uh, was taped previously. Yes, it was. Great match, and uh, Bulldozer and Michael Lee locking up. Bulldozer going to the headlock. Pressure on the neck. Can you imagine your head being uh, between the arms of that man? That man has got arms like my legs. Yes, he does. I imagine his arms are bigger than my legs. And uh, Bulldozer would be a very hard man to hold down, it looks like. So Michael Lee is powering out, though. Michael Lee, a very strong wrestler, uh, very proportionate for size, you know, just a, a very movable wrestler. The fans are really enjoying this match, seems to be, buddy. Great crowd, and uh, Michael uh, Lee still under the pressure of Bulldozer's headlock, and a lot of pressure, that is, you can tell. Those are some awesome arms on that man, Bulldozer. Referee keeping a real good watch on this. Referee is in position. Michael Lee showing some strength there. Michael Lee has to be a powerful man to, to move the arms of Bulldozer. The audience really getting into this. Uh, Michael Lee is not, not getting rid of that thorn lock and uh, Bulldozer backing that headlock and the referee breaking it. I think Bulldozer got a little piece of the hair. I'm not sure, but the referee broke the hole for some reason. Michael Lee uh, showing some anger. No blame. I don't either against a man like Bulldozer. Circling and uh, cautiously getting hold of each other now. You notice Michael Lee is able to push Bulldozer into the rope. I think Bulldozer kind of uh, went back on that with him, looked like. Michael Lee slinging Bulldozer. Lee is on fire right now. Arm bar to Bulldozer. Now Bulldozer taking the blunt of his punishment. Bulldozer is in pain. Michael Lee holding to that arm. Y'all might have heard the comments from Bulldozer. He's not too happy. Bulldozer, uh, of course, like I say, can come up at any minute. And Michael Lee... That's what I thought he was going to do. He put the pressure of that knee right into the soft part of that arm, if there is a soft part of Bulldozer's arm. I don't know if there is or not, but that looked like it hurt. Boy, that lady sure isn't enjoying it. This lady looks like she's from Michael Lee. Michael Lee still working on the arm of Bulldozer, doing his damage while he can. Bulldozer is down, but don't count him out. Michael Lee 
course, listening to the referee. Bulldozer back on his feet. Now we'll see uh, the anger from Bulldozer. Possibly. I know Bulldozer didn't like laying down there on that mat too long like that. You notice he forces him back to the ropes. Referee's calling for the break. Let's see if it's a clean break. Bulldozer still with Michael Lee on the ropes and slingshot off the ropes. And a body tackle. Can you believe Michael Lee body tackle like that to Bulldozer and, and pushing him around? I can't believe he knocked Bulldozer down, but he did. Bulldozer don't look like he can believe it too good. He was running into 300 plus pounds there. That takes some power. And solid pounds. This man is solid. He is very solid. Michael Lee and Bulldozer, quite a match. Lock up. Michael Lee working on the arm of Bulldozer. Notice he went back to the arm. That's good strategy at a man the size of Bulldozer. You've got to What a move! You have to work on one body point when you're fighting a man the size of Bulldozer. Now the pressure on the arm, using the legs. Michael Lee putting pressure on Bulldozer. He's just stretching that arm, and as you know, the arm will only go so far. That's a big arm to stretch, and uh, Michael Lee still uh, believing in, and by ri rightfully so believing, he needs to keep Bulldozer at the disadvantage as much as he can, because this big man can at any time come up and do some damage. You got to keep Bulldozer on the mat. You can't wrestle him in any other way. You have to keep him on the mat. Well, he's so big, Shane, that he just uh, he can force his way into just about anything. That's true. And unless you've got him on the mat, you're in trouble at any time. Michael Lee putting pressure now with his feet on Bulldozer and uh, working on that arm. Bulldozer thinking of a way to release this pressure. Bulldozer is on his feet. Let's see if he can figure a way out of this. Michael Lee is really putting the pressure on back down to the mat with Bulldozer. Michael Lee, knowing he has got to keep him down there, he's done a good, he did a good job off of it. Yeah, he did. He's got to keep the man on the mat. It's the only way to wrestle him, as I said before, and he's doing it so far. The referee keeping a close watch. And uh, two count. Michael Lee still trying. Lee's not going for the pin, but if the man's shoulders down, the referee does have to count. Michael Lee showing some pressure on his face, too. There's always action when Bulldozer is around. We'll be back right after this. Slinging Michael Lee off of the ropes and a great power slam. Welcome back, folks, to IPW Wrestling. We're in the middle of a match between Michael Lee and Bulldozer. A terrific match. What a match it is. You see that power slam by Bulldozer. That was rough, and Bulldozer down with a great big elbow onto the top of the head of Michael Lee. I'm surprised Lee was able to come out of that power slam, but he did. Headache territory right there. Mm. Oh, Bulldozer missing, and back down the mat. That took Bulldozer by surprise. Bulldozer, of course, down on the mat now just exactly where Michael Lee wants him. Michael Lee saw that fist coming, and if he hadn't of it, would have took his head off. He would have ran into the fist uh, and hurt him, let alone the fist having power moving toward him, so that, that was not a bad, bad move right there. Yes, it would. It's a good thing Lee saw it coming, but Lee has Bulldozer back on the match. As I was saying, that's the only way to wrestle Bulldozer. Is Michael Lee working on the throat of Bulldozer there? No, he's not. He's working on the shoulder. Okay, got an arm bar. Uh, Michael Lee is uh, still putting pressure on the arm. He has picked that arm the whole match and is working on it. That's a smart wrestling. That's the uh, wrestling ability of Michael Lee, the movability of Michael Lee, kind of uh, makes up for the size difference. And uh, drop right on the arm of, of Bulldozer. That uh, that arm is, has got to be giving Bulldozer some pain right now. That arm's got to be hurting and hurting bad. Bulldozer, when he gets ready to get up, there's not much stopping him, is it? The only way to stop Bulldozer from getting up is to keep him down, and that's what Michael Lee is trying to do, and that's very hard to do. Bulldozer using his fist now and going to the hair, it looked like. Was he at the hair of a... Oh, fist to the side of the head. Those fists will slow you up. 
Those fists will slow anyone up. My Michael Lee trying to hang on. Oh, it couldn't hang on. Too much fist and not enough time to hang on. Just think about 300 pounds behind a fist that big. And look at the arm on that guy. Look at the, uh, the size of that, uh, the whole man. That level, Lee. Lee on the mat. Bulldozer on Lee. The referee watching them both. Bulldozer was choking Lee there, but he broke before the five. Oh, what a, uh, what a drop on Lee right there. Now, Michael Lee is down. Now, when Michael Lee gets on the mat and Bulldozer on top, there is more pain there than you can imagine. Yes, it is. And Lee was able to get his foot on the rope. It's the only thing saved him from the pin. Bulldozer starting to do something. Michael Lee coming back over. It's, the time limit has expired. Lee has taken Bulldozer to a time limit draw. That's saying something in itself right there. The referee, of course, trying to control these two fine wrestlers. I would sure hate to be in between these two. Michael Lee and Bulldozer both dissatisfied with this, with this time limit draw right here. Bulldozer says he won, but it was a draw. The fans saw it. Everyone saw it. Michael Lee and Bulldozer, great match. Wrestling the way it should be. Coming March 3rd to Springdale, Arkansas. Springdale Armory, that's at 7.30 p.m. March 3rd to Springdale, Arkansas. Springdale Armory at 7.30 p.m. Come on out and enjoy. This is in the IPW, Odell Buckingham. Let's watch it now. This next match features Wild Bill Ash, one of the veterans of the world of wrestling. Now let's go to the ring. Great match coming up. Wild Bill Ash against Butch Moore. Was that some strength in that gym or what with Odell Buckingham? Unbelievable. Buckingham is a man to be reckoned with in the future in the IPW. I would hate to reckon with him in the ring. Lock up by Ash and Moore. Moore uh, pushing Ash up into the ropes. Ash coming out of it right quick. Clean break. Now, this Ash uh, is a guy to watch. Wild Bill is so unpredictable, you never know what's going to happen next. I've known Bill Ash for a long time and watched him for a long time. He's a great athlete. Place lock takedown, and Ash going for a ride on Moore. Ash staying right with his man. Moore to the ropes. Clean break. Clean break by Ash. And uh, Moore kind of uh, regrouping his mind, thinking, now, now what am I going to do here? Moore complaining to the referee about the tights, but Ash didn't touch his tights. Those aren't really tights, though, are they, but it looks like he just came out of the battlefield. He uh, went by basic training for a while, and that, uh... He needs basic training to face a man like Ash, believe me. Wild Bill Ash, uh, a lot of times people underestimate this man. He does some damage in the ring. Oh! Top wrist lock by Butch Moore. And uh, putting pressure on the arm of Wild Bill Ash, and you can see the pain. Oh! A reversal into a hammer lock. Moore went to the ropes, his only way out, and he knew it. Moore will be probably doing a lot of that in this match. Uh, that's uh, one way to get away from uh, Bill Ash, and Bill will hang on for dear life, I'll tell you. If you want to stay away from Ash, uh, one thing to do, don't get in the ring with him. Ash will try to hurt you. Ash will hurt you. Ash also, you give him time, you, you, you hesitate just a little, and Ash has got a reputation of getting taking advantage of that hesitation, and that's what we see in a lot of Ash's matches. Yes, we do. I, this is a form of the Cobra Clutch, I think. He, he took more over with it. More trying the ropes again and making it. Like I said, that's the only way he can get Ash off of him. Ash still calm. Ash staying pretty calm in this match. More still complaining of the tights, but Ash didn't touch his tights. This is a well fought match, good and clean. When you get up and take it like more was in, you've got to complain about something. It looks good, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's one way to get out of it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, okay, Moore deciding to come back in the match, I guess, uh, uh, due to the fact that he has to. If he's counted out, if he stays out for the 10 count, he'll be disqualified. Lock up. 
Ashton Moore. And uh, Ash going to the headlock. Moore slings out off the ropes and a tackle by Ash. Leapfrog. Oh, I mean, that, that was great. Ash uh, pushing Moore off, uh, putting Moore back on the mat and Moore back out onto the uh, concrete. No, no, he said. No, no. What was that? The good hip toss by Ash, and you say it caught him in the lower back. He went down to his knees holding his lower back. He is in pain. And Ash just calmly waiting for Moore to come back into the ring. Look at the look on the face of Ash. If you'll notice, Ash always makes the opponent come to him. And Ash loving it. Look at the smile. I'm telling you, Ash loving it. Moore back up against the turnbuckle and thinking very serious about this situation he's fixing to get into here. I could not hear Ash, but I'm sure he told him, hey, if you want more, come on in. And uh, lock up. Oh, what was that? Face rake. He raked his eyes. He's got Ash having trouble seeing. Elbow. Elbow to the back of the head. Ash. Oh, Ash. Got, see, there, that's what I mean, the hesitation. The hesitation and Ash coming back and putting more on the mat. That was a high knee lift by Ash. That, that's a painful hole. That knee lift can take your head off. And we'll be back in just a minute. For you IPW wrestling fans to become a candidate for the IPW Fan of the Week, send comments to Hamilton Media Group, 850 Tower Building, Little Rock, Arkansas, zip 72201. That's Hamilton Media Group, 850 Tower Building, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72201. Send your comments today. And Butch Moore and International Pro Wrestling, uh, good match we've got uh, going here. And, uh, Jeffrey talking to the wrestlers. Did you notice that it looked like Moore went to his pocket for something? I didn't notice it, but I'm sure Wild Bill Ash did. Look at, look at the look on his face. Ash is ready for him. I'm not sure that he did get something out of his pocket, but it sure looked that way. Ash is the kind of man who won't say nothing until it happens and do something about it, I think. Ash uh, packs a wallop himself. Without oh, a kick to the midsection by Wild Bill Ash and the slingshot off ropes. <laughs> Right into the neck of Butch Moore. Cover. Kick out. Bill Ash has got one of the most powerful forearms I've ever seen in professional wrestling. Ash with a great neck hold on Butch Moore and putting pressure on that neck. Yes, he has him in the front face lock. Now the uh, referee watching close. Bill Ash uh, really putting pressure on Butch Moore. You notice Moore went back to the ropes. That's, that's the only way he's been able to keep Ash out of him. Ash would like to get him in the middle of the ring and keep him there, and uh, that way the match wouldn't last long if it didn't Butch Moore knows that, and I'll have to agree with that. Now, there's a tired wrestler right there, it looks like. Uh, Bill Ash just calmly putting him through some, some pain and pressure. Like I said before, Ash always makes his opponent come to him. Uh, Ash told the referee to check him. I, th I do think he went to the pocket for something. Of course, uh, Butch Moore now reaching into his pocket, uh, standing up the ropes. He was denying everything. I'm sure he would. The referee checked him, but he didn't have it in his hand when the referee checked, so he can't do anything about it. Now, Butch smiling. Uh, I don't know whether that was a sadistic smile or uh, kind of a happy smile when he's away from uh, Bill Ash right now. And the audience really liking this match. IPW Wrestling, the way it should be, coming February the 17th to Paris, Arkansas. For all you Paris fans, high school gym at 7.30 p.m. Wild Bill Ash and Butch Moore, and uh, of course, Butch Moore, uh, looks like he's holding uh, Bill Ash on the ropes, but Ash has got the advantage, I believe, at this point. There's a youngster that would like to be in there. Butch Moore, slamming Bill Ash's head into the turnbuckle. That was... That was a lot of pressure. Now Payne all put together and putting uh, Ash on the mat. Little kick for added. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Adding a little insult to injury. Now, of course, Butch Moore getting a little more confident. Rake to the face. This is the only time in the match that Moore has had things going his way. He thinks maybe, maybe not. And a back up. Now, now Butch Moore. Uh, Drop right into the chest. Kick out. 
You can't try to pin a man like Ash without great finding the leg. Ash, of course, uh, now not as aware as he, uh, appearing not to be as he was. He, he's been through uh, the last 30 seconds a lot of pain. You can say Ash has been knocked a little senseless. You know. Again, a hesitation by Butch Moore. Ash coming back with a knee lift. Look how high that knee lift is of Ash. And Ash is not a not a tall, very tall man. So that's uh, saying a lot. Yes, that's saying a whole lot. Butch Moore working on the midsection of Ash with uh, Fisk. Ash going into a small package on Butch Moore. The count. Bill Ash to the match. Bill Ash took the match. As I thought he would. And that wraps up another exciting edition of International Pro Wrestling, wrestling the way it should be. I'm your host, Buddy Lee, back next week with more IPW action.